I'll try to be safe. And uh, whatever you can go through, don't turn our city down. Let's build it back up. Building a better tomorrow. Like, what lives matter? That's the message after a protest in March that spanned from East Knoxville into downtown. My babies, like all these babies in here, because for the early sense of last year at the end, nothing but babies has been dying. Let them grow up and then to die by an officer, y'all supposed to keep them safe. So who are they supposed to trust? So they ain't gonna do nothing but turn to the streets because they can't trust the people that are supposed to protect them. The shooting death of Anthony Thompson Jr. has sparked a conversation about transparency, about policing, and about getting kids on the right path. Several mothers I talked to today said that's why they came out. To show my kids it's another part of history that they're making. So it's very important that they know where they came from to get where you're going in the future. Giving them some lifelong lessons in the process. Like other people, like we should still treat other people the way that we want to be treated. Letting some good shine through the bad, letting his name stand for something bigger. In Knoxville, Austin Martin, WATE, six on your side. Austin, thank you. Knox County District Attorney Sharm Allen said no officers will be charged in connection to that shooting. And we have much more coverage of the deadly Austin East officer-involved shooting, including the full minute-by-minute -minute timeline presented by the DA, community response, and all of our other stories from the last 12 days over on WATE.com.